Hello folks, this is uh, Daniel, Clean Mac Exterior, power washing, and I'm working on my rig today. I already uh, made a new platform. Uh, everything is uh, pressure treated. This is a three quarter of an inch uh, plywood, PT. And uh, two by three planks pressure treated as well the dimensions are not perfect but um, they're close to that number so and this is how it's uh, looking at the moment the uh, pressure washer of course being a belt driven machine is going to be in that corner just like the previous one the huge buffer tank is in the back occupying almost half the space of the truck <laughs> and the uh, cam tank the 30 gallon barrel cam tank is right in the middle and then over there is going to be the um, soap tank and everything in the middle here will be for the um, the battery and the 12 volt pump so I haven't bolted down this uh, pressure washer yet I think I'm gonna be needing uh, longer uh, bolts Because this is not going to be uh, tall enough or long enough. And I'm, I need to figure out a way of uh, how to make an L here with the exact same dimensions here. Because, yeah, I have to do that. So I'm gonna be going to Home Depot or my local um, PVC store just to see if I can find the parts from the, for that. I do have this thing, but you know it's not gonna work. I don't know. Not the same thing. It is the exact same thing. So. It's the same thing. Okay. Okay, folks. So this is an update for the um, for the skid, the pressure washing skid. <clears throat> it's been uh, two days, and uh, yesterday I was checking the IBC tote which is not here any, anymore and uh, it had a lot of uh, canela oil inside when I first bought it I, I, I missed it I did check inside but it, at the time it didn't seem like it had nothing but then when the uh, the temperature got warm enough I was able to notice the uh, the oil I tried cleaning it, but it was just too much. So I, I decided to uh, take it out of the truck. And now I have my old 65 gallon tank. And we're gonna be using that temporarily until we get something better. Maybe two of those um, 100 gallon tanks or three, one for camp and two for uh, water. But uh, yeah, that is what's happening at the moment. I've already completed the uh, side platforms for the reel. <coughs> and I already installed the uh, reel for the garden hose and the other one for the uh, power 
washing hoses. So that is it what we're doing for now. I have to do another side side platform on this side <coughs> where I'm going to be mounting the uh, a uh, auxiliary gas can which is going to be used for the uh, pressure washer of course if we have any problems using the uh, 8 GPN machine with that uh, small buffer trunk, we can just switch to the old 5.5 GPM machine. So until we get something, uh, something better, like a bigger buffer tank. But I don't think it's gonna be a problem. The only problem will be if um, the uh, water flow on the uh, customer house is not uh, good enough. Like um, if it's two GPN water flow, then obviously it's gonna be an issue. So, but we'll see. We'll see how it performs. I do have a few jobs for this week, so we'll see. Okay, so I think that's it for now. I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can do the other platform on this side here. And uh, yeah, I'll make an update about that now.